Hey, what's up, y'all? Um, back with another authentic verification. It's my first time doing this particular version of a Air Max 270. It's the bowfin, and the bowfin, bowfin is a fish. Now, I would have to assume because this is not an ACG, but it definitely should be an ACG because it's about as rugged as a, a shoe can be without being a boot. So let's get into it. Air Max 270 bowfin. The SRP is 160. The um, style code is AJ7200001. And the color is black phantom desert cone, which that cone is always that orange type color. Um, the size 10, UPC, 191887630685. And there's a 16 at the end. So inside of the red Nike Sportswear boxes, we either have two stamps or a QC stamp and a QC sticker. And we have QC stamp and a QC sticker. All right. The QC sticker reads QC Pass G-7. The stamp is 07-30-18-07-05. So I'm looking at that as 07-30-18. And I'm going to drop this down, pull the shoes out of the box. Just so you can get a quick look at it before I go into the 360, I want to go to the size label. Oh wow, the uh, I haven't felt the inside of the shoe. I haven't tried it on, so don't ask me about sizing. Um, this thing feels like a pillow on the inside. That is extremely soft, man. This collar really soft. So I want to do that one more time, even though I'm getting all of this kind of feedback in the camera this collar is really really plush this feels great a lot of the times Nikes have a tendency to rub me wrong here at the Achilles and these collars will be kind of irritating if you don't have socks on now I don't expect you to be wearing this because obviously this shoe is meant to be out on a hike you got a leather toe box you got this kind of a canvas or a oh no this is a ripstop so that's a ripstop so that's waterproof around here then you have this mesh towards the top but it's an inner sock it's a lined sock liner basically a sock booty so you have this sock like construction up here at the top but it's lined which means that it's probably going to be like a moisture wicking material that's on the inside right here so when it gets wet on the inside it pulls that moisture away but I'm not sure about that however you do have an overlay of mesh but on the inside it is lined um, I was getting to the production date so our production date when I touch the inside of this thing and it's so soft man gosh that feels better than almost any Nike I've seen you know does have a glue thing right here on the inside of the sole though yeah won't worry about that here goes your production date 0502 18 2 07 04 18 so 07 30 Less than four weeks. So our date for the stamp and our production date is within that four weeks. We're good. Now, these are not necessarily functional. These straps, they're a part of this elastic strap that's connected to the tongue, which is attached to the sock liner. So all of this is attached right here. These straps kind of work and function probably a lot like fly wire in a sense, but then again, it doesn't because they're stitched down, so they're not really functional in that way. They're just going to hold your shoestrings in place. So they're not really like a fly wire for a lockdown or a locked-in fit. I do believe that the sock functions much like your lockdown fit, but that is the blackest 270 bubble I've seen on a shoe. It's completely blacked out. You can't see through it. Like most 270 bubbles, you can see through but you can't on this one. So let's get into this 360 because this is running long. And I didn't even want it to go this long, but it is an intriguing looking shoe. So here we go. Toe box, top of the shoe. Got the Nike Air on the inside. It reminds me of like the Moabs and the, um. it looks like an ACG shoe. It should be an ACG. But I guess you don't have to label it for it to be all conditions gear. But it definitely looks like it should be that is going to be pretty much it though I'm not going into a deeper dive you can see how knobby the outsole is 
a lot more than any other Air Max 270 that you've seen. It's still the same shape as the Air Max 270, but with a lot more grip, knobby for hiking. So if it's a bow fin, I guess you could wear it to go fishing in, right? And the heel counter is stopped off with a nice small swish. On, um, I think that's a synthetic. Yeah, that's a synthetic. That's not leather at the heel. There's leather at the toe. Nope, that's not leather. This is almost like a ripstop or a nylon as well. Making sure you can hear that sound. Same thing back here at the back. So this shoe doesn't have leather on it at all. It's all kind of a nylon, waterproof, uh, ripstop, and mesh. So it's an interesting shoe, man. Not bad at all. The Air Max 270 Bowfin. It's pretty nice. Oh, I didn't even get to the fact that it has a toggle lacing system. So there you go. See you guys on the next one. A lot longer than I thought it would be. But, I mean, it's my first time seeing these, so, of course, it's going to be a little bit longer than usual. See you guys on the next one. Uh, new subscribers, appreciate you guys. Still running behind, man. Got a whole lot to get into through the holiday season. I promise you guys there are more things coming in the near future as the holiday season slows down and we start working on some other things. Inside of Ties tomorrow, which by the time I edit this video will be like three weeks from now. Peace.